Hello everyone, welcome to another video. It is Francesco here. Welcome to the Keep Productive YouTube channel if you are brand new. This is a channel all about productivity apps, personal productivity apps, team productivity apps, and resources that you can use in your daily routine. So in today's video, what we'll be doing is diving into the top 10 calendar applications that are out there in the moment. We'll be documenting the ones that are gaining the most attention at the moment, and we're also going to be adding them all to download available in the description below with their platform and pricing as well, so that you guys can go away, make that decision once you've watched this video and choose your next calendar application. I'm really excited for this feature because I've been looking at this one for a fair while now and delaying it, but now it's officially up, so please do enjoy this feature. Just before we start this list, make sure to hit the subscribe button and like button on this video, and also leave a comment below. It'd be amazing to have you in this community. We also have a Facebook group, which you can join and become a part of the Keep Productive community. So without further ado, let's dive into those top 10 calendar applications. So let's start off with the first one, and that's Fantastic How To. A lot of you guys will probably know this one already. Fantastic How To is available on Mac, and iOS, and it provides you with a pretty gorgeous calendar experience. Now, I have Fantastic Out 2 on Mac, and it works really, really well. It's quite pricey, so the iOS version is $4.99. Uh, that might be subject to change, so I'll include the latest figures in the description. And the Mac version is $49.99, which is much higher. With that application, you get a pretty advanced experience. You can download it for iOS and Mac separately, and the experience connects all of your calendars together. It also provides you with a smart language input, which works really well on the Mac, allowing you to quickly add events at speed, which makes it very powerful on the go. Now, what I specifically like about Fantastic Out 2 is its design. Its design is very beautiful, especially on Mac. It's also available on iOS with a gorgeous design there too. Now, Fantastic Out pushed this as a smart, convenient, and flexible application, and I would have to say that it's definitely worth the pricing. It's a very well-designed application. So the second one is Cal Calendars 5, which is an iOS only application, and that means iPhone and iPad only at the moment. They're looking to develop a Mac version and expand the features, but at the moment, this is just available there. It connects to most calendars, and it has, again, a very similar function to Fantastic Out 2, allowing you to add smart language, uh, quickly adding events and details at speed. Now you can connect up with tasks as well, and the brilliant thing about Calendars 5 is it has tons of different views, so you can choose which layout you have. Everything from lists to month view and everything in between. That's one of the USPs, I guess, of Calendars 5. Now Calendars 5 is my iOS choice of a calendar application, mainly because it's really functional, fast, and has that great view layout, which is really helpful when you're moving about your day. So number three is Google Calendar. This is Google Calendar calendars application. Obviously, it is a provider as well, uh, very similar to Apple Calendar, but in a way, Google Calendar goes a little bit further. Google Calendar has their own Android, web, and iOS applications and provides you with a really seamless experience. Now, they've recently updated the web, which I did a full video on, which you can find up in the cards. Uh, they have now updated the web, allowing you to have consistent experience across all of the devices. Now, Google Calendar is really basic. It doesn't have any like amazing features, I'd say. The standard out features are being able to set goals so you can set goals and uh, keep track of them and it will implement that into your calendar routine and number two you can set reminders that link up with your google keep and google search application so it keeps all that google now stuff in tune again that one is free so you don't have to pay the $6.99 uh, $6.99 for calendar 5 or the $4.99 at minimum for fantastic l2 so just bear that in mind the next one is outlook calendar very similar to google calendar this is a calendar provider so you are like starting a calendar fresh from here and it will natively connect with it uh, but very similar to Google Calendar it has a really strong applications that are free uh, but the thing with Outlook Calendar is it's connected to your mail. So you have the mail next to your calendar. Uh, that's some maybe a some weird experience for some. I know it is for myself, but it actually works really well because it connects up with that mail really in sync. I was only chatting to Alex the other day about this, 
and he really enjoyed that whole experience. But Outlook Calendar is really well designed, mainly because the team of Sunrise, which was a really popular calendar application, which I really loved, and they also had the Wunderlist team sort of working on that design department. So they have an amazing design department that works on the calendar over in Outlook. So it's definitely worth checking out. The next one is iOS only. Uh, Moleskin Time Page is a leading application and is growing and growing. I did a full review on this if you want to check out all the details but it is an amazingly gesture-based application, providing you with great views and the ability to add and interact with your uh, calendar rent in a really traditional fashion. Plus, you've got loads of additional features like rain alerts, follow-up, daily summaries, everything like that. It's pretty intricate, but really well designed. That one is $4.99 on iOS. The next one is Cal by AnyDo. This is from the AnyDo creators. The AnyDo is a task management application uh, that is available on Android and iOS. Uh, this is available on iOS and Android. Cal provides you with a pretty simple experience. And what I think the sort of standout features are is that you go inside and you can actually set up uh, an event but it will also bring in uh, different covers for all of the things that you add. So you've got this really gorgeous uh, design in terms of being able to click in uh, and it will be able to detect, so for example, lunch, it'll put a photo of dinner and things like that uh, inside of the calendar event. So it makes it very interactive and that is free as well. So you can access all of that at no charge. The next one is an Android only one. I know you guys would like this one. A Calendar is uh, an application that's free on Android and provides you with a pretty simple experience. Now again, it has a good optionality for views and layouts which make it one of the leaders on Android and it provides you with a pretty simple experience for getting on with. You can connect up a lot of calendars and there is a free version as well as a premium version. It's called A Calendar Plus which is about $3.99 on the Google Play Store. So there are two different versions with additional features, ones that I'll include in the description below. So Tiny Calendar is available on Android and iOS. Again, rising popularity, mainly because it replicates a very similar experience to Calendars 5. There's loads and loads of views and layouts that they have there. So if you're looking for a cross-platform experience, this could be your solution because if you like views and layouts, you're gonna love this one. It has so many gorgeous ones and it seems to work really fluidly just from playing around with it and using it. Uh, actually just like, it's pretty seamless uh, in terms of moving around the layouts and stuff like that. It's not complicated or over stressful. So definitely worth checking that one out. And again, it's free to check out. So a sort of competitor to Fantastic Out 2, BusyCal 3.0 for iOS and Mac is available around about the same price at $4.99 for the iOS version at $49.99 .99 for the Mac version. BusyCal provides you with a pretty nice host of views, layouts, allowing you to add lots of calendars. It doesn't have too many of the smart functionality that Fantastic Out 2 does, but if you're looking for a professional, uh, easy to get on with application, then this might be for you. And to round things off, you've got the Today Calendar, which is available on Android. This is by a designer called Jack Underwood. Uh, I actually uh, followed a lot of this stuff when I was an Android user, and his design of this application is absolutely gorgeous. It's what Google Calendar should be, and it provides you with a really nice gesture, sort of material design experience on Android for calendar. They do a seven day free trial on the free application, but there is a £3.59, which is about $4, in the US uh, application that you can download and uh, have Pro. It's called Today Pro, I believe. Today Calendar Pro. It's really strong and a really beautiful application if you're just looking for something really simple. So guys, those were the 10 applications. As you can imagine, and I know a lot of you will be putting them in the comments, uh, more applications, there are tons more calendar applications, so put them down in the comments below. It'd be great to hear some of your suggestions that I missed. Again, I can't include all of them. Maybe I'll do a top 25 calendar app soon, um, but bear with me uh, because I like to do these 10 and then the 25 uh, that come after it. So make sure to check that out in the description below. Um, all of the information with platforms, pricing and details will be there so you can go away and download them uh, and save yourself some time. But those are my recommendations for the top 10. Anyway guys, uh, I really appreciate you coming along today. Make sure to hit that like button, hit the subscribe button and make sure to comment with what your thoughts are, whether you use one of these or whether you want to include one of these in the additional mention. Anyway guys, I really appreciate it today. So make sure to have a great week, keep productive and I'll see you guys very, very soon. Cheers. <laughs>